Yeah, Saren was evil, Dragon Daddy. He also thought he could control the uh, Reapers and equally was indoctrinated. God, I hate this crap. What? Where am I? The Citadel. It's my home. Who are you? I am the Catalyst. I thought the Citadel was the Catalyst. No. The Citadel is part of me. I need to stop the Reapers. Do you know how I can do that? Perhaps. I control the Reapers. They are my solution. The solution to what? Chaos. The created will always rebel against their creators. But we found a way to stop that from happening. A way to restore order. There's a reason nobody likes the ending to Mass Effect 3. No. We harvest advanced civilizations, leaving the younger ones alone. Just as we left your people alive the last time we were here. But you killed the rest. We helped them ascend, so they could make way for new life. Storing the old life in Reaper form. I think we'd rather keep our own form. Oh yeah, yeah this is okay. very stupid. Without Mostly because it comes so far out of left field. Organics. We've created the cycle so that never happens. That's the solution. You said you're the catalyst, but what are you? A construct. An intelligence designed eons ago to solve a problem. I was created to bring balance. To be the catalyst for peace between organics and synthetics. So you're just an AI? In as much as you are just an animal, I embody the collective intelligence of all Reapers. But you were created. Correct. By who? By ones who recognized that conflict would always arise between synthetics and organics. I was first created to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life, to establish <laughs> a connection. But our efforts always ended in conflict, so a new solution was required. <laughs> the Reapers. Precisely. Where did the Reapers come from? Did you create them? My creators gave them form. I gave them function. They, in turn, give me purpose. You know, I met your creator. The Reapers They're living at the bottom of an ocean on another planet. Leviathan. Yes. They created me to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life. To establish a connection. They became the first true Reaper. They did not approve, but it was the only solution. You said that before. But how do the Reapers solve anything? Organics create synthetics to improve their own existence, but those improvements have limits. To exceed those limits, synthetics must be allowed to evolve. They must, by definition, surpass their creators. The result is conflict. Destruction, chaos, it is inevitable. Reapers harvest all life, organic and synthetic, preserving them before they are forever lost to this conflict. We're at war with the Reapers right now. You may be in conflict with the Reapers, but they are not interested in war. I find that hard to believe. When fire burns, is it at war? Is it in conflict? Or is it simply doing what it was created to do? 
We are no different. We harvest your bodies, your knowledge, your creations. We preserve it to be reborn in the form of a new reaper. Like a cleansing fire, we restore balance. New life, both organic and synthetic, can once again flourish. What do you know about the crucible? The device you <laughs> Brother, to as the get the flamer. The heavy resource. flamer. However, in combination with the citadel and the relays, it is capable of releasing tremendous amounts of energy throughout the galaxy. It is crude, but effective and adaptive in its design. Who designed it? You would not know them, and there is not enough time to explain. We first noted the concept for this device several cycles ago. With each passing cycle, the design has no doubt evolved. Why didn't you stop it? We believe the concept had been eradicated. Clearly, organics are more resourceful than we realized. But you're taking away our future. Without future, we have no hope. Without hope, we might as well be machines. Programmed to do what we're told. You have hope. More than you think. Also remember, this is after an update, a huge free DLC to make this better. And that's not counting the fixes to the cutscenes, like when they blew up the uh, mass relays. You know, that thing that's supposed to actually cause black holes if that happens. Why help me? You have altered the variables. <laughs> what do you mean? The crucible changed me, created new possibilities but I can't make them happen. If there is to be a new solution, you must act. It is now in your power to destroy us. But be warned, others will be destroyed as well. The Crucible will not discriminate. All synthetics will be targeted. Even you are partly synthetic. What exactly will happen? Your crucible device appears to be largely intact. However, the effects of the blast will not be constrained to the Reapers. Technology you rely on will be affected, but those who survive should have little difficulty repairing the damage. There will still be losses, but no more than what has already been lost. I made it this far. We'll destroy you without setting it off. Impossible. You are vastly outnumbered. You have sacrificed many of your resources just to reach this point. If you do not use the Crucible, the Reapers will not be stopped, and the cycle will continue. I don't believe you. Your belief is not required. There has to be another way. There is. You could instead use the energy of the Crucible to seize control of the Reapers. So the elusive man was right after all. Yes, but he could never have taken control. Because we already controlled him. But I can? You will die. You will control us, but you will lose everything you have. How can I control the Reapers if I'm dead? Your corporeal form will be dissolved, but your thoughts and even your memories will continue. Your connection to your kind will be lost, though you will remain aware of their existence. But the Reapers will obey me? Yes. We will be yours to control and direct as you see fit. Mm. There is another solution. Synthesis. And that is? Add your energy to the Crucibles. The chain reaction will combine all synthetic and organic life 
into a new framework. A new DNA. Explain how my energy can be added to the Crucible. There is little time left, but I will try. Your organic energy, the essence of who and what you are, will be broken down and then dispersed. To do what, exactly? The energy of the Crucible, released in this way, will alter the matrix of all organic life in the galaxy. Organics seek perfection through technology. Synthetics seek perfection through understanding. Organics will be perfected by integrating fully with synthetic technology. Synthetics, in turn, will finally have full understanding of organics. It is the ideal solution. Now that we know it is possible, it is inevitable we will reach synthesis. Why couldn't you do it sooner? We have tried a similar solution in the past. But it has always failed. Why? Because the organics were not ready. It is not something that can be forced. You are ready, and you may choose it. I don't know. Why not? Synthetics are already part of you. Can you imagine your life without them? That's beside the point. Your time is at an end. You must decide. Fuck it! No, I'm not gonna go that. You can reject it outright, and it'll basically just start the cycle all over. It's a whole other ending, but I'm not gonna get into that. Let's get this over with. Do what you must. It's a no-brainer on what option I'm going to do. Even for the LP, it's a no-brainer what option I'm going to do. I am neither Anderson, nor am I the elusive man. I am Commander Shepard. And I walk my own path. Let me put it to you this way, gamer. In destroying the sin if I destroy the Reapers, that destroys all synthetics. That includes the Geth. As it said, it does not discriminate. All synthetics will be destroyed. And I do not seek to control. There is one solution. Now, light our darkest hour. <laughs> Refuse for the LP is just a really shitty bad ending. I'll probably show it off as a bonus, but it's really dumb. Pretty much nothing gets accomplished, the Crucible doesn't get used, and humanity dies. Yeah, in the original ending, like, uh, the explosion is so big that it ripples across the, uh, the Mass Effect relays and actually destroys them. But if you recall from the Arrival DLC, the last time I destroyed a Mass Relay, it was big enough to wipe out an entire planet. And yet nothing occurred from these blowing up, which was a huge continuity error on top of other continuity errors.
There is no satisfying conclusion. You'll just have to live with that, unfortunately. But overall, from a story from a story narrative, this is the best, most acceptable answer. So yeah, in the original endings, that actually completely destroyed the mass relay. Like, complete explosion. But in here, it just disperses the zero something, something, whatever. Yeah, this is the only outcome that that basically allows for me to uh, that allows for everyone to just make it out what the fuck is with this oh god uh, whew, um, hmm. I think someone's wrong with that scene Andromeda win when I feel like I need a tumor. Oh yeah, that'd be another thing. If I had destroyed the uh if I had destroyed the synthetics, I'd have killed ED too. Yes, they are in a relationship. I don't think they're actually having like sexual intercourse, but they are romantically in a, in a relationship. are helping to rebuild where once they threatened us with extinction they now bring us the collective knowledge of the cultures that came before
as a galaxy, we can now live the lives we have wished for. Taking our first steps into a new and wonderful future. Hey, look, there's the, uh, Where there they are without their face masks. Synthetics can coexist peacefully. With peace across the galaxy and with unlimited access to knowledge. To recover the greatness that was lost. And surpass it. I mean, shock of that Andromeda ignores the ending. Probably the one good thing they did. We will reclaim our worlds and the stars as the line between synthetic and organic disappears. We may transcend mortality itself to reach a level of existence I cannot even imagine. And we will remember that this chance for a new life did not come without cost. I started going to sleep mode. I've been sitting here so long. No matter how far we advance, we will remember the sacrifices of those who made it possible. And we will remember Shepard. There's only one ending where Shepard survives, and I fucking hate it so much. I am alive, and I am not alone. Like, the one ending where Shepard survives is like, if you destroy all the synthetics and you were pure renegade, and I think also got enough whatevers. You'll see like a scene of like the rubble on Earth and then Shepard's just sitting there still alive. But that's the only way to achieve that. And again, I don't like the idea of destroying all synthetics and yeah. Also don't like the fact I have to go all renegade for it. Mass Effect 3. I don't know what else to say about it. Everyone knows about Mass Effect 3. Well, the end of the trilogy for now. At least till the uh, remaster, or remaster kind of, sort of, comes out on... Is it in June or July it comes out? I don't remember.
I still think with as much as that, as much of a bad rap it gets, and rightly so for the, for what it does, I still controversially say Mass Effect 3 is better than Mass Effect 1. Mass Effect 1 is right, all right in its own ways, but I think gameplay mechanic-wise really holds it back. I think for that, Mass Effect 3 had a better idea of what it wanted to be. Yeah. I think had they gotten the full time to work on this game, not been rushed by EA to push it out, not been forced to put in Connect crap inside of it, it could have probably been a really good game. That's the same reason like Dragon Age 2 is such shit. It was the same time, EA just started fucking strangling their games to put crap inside of it it didn't need. That's also the reason Dead Space 3 is the way it turned out to be. EA just started fucking strangling all of its money makers and basically told them, do this crap. Yeah, that would be... God. You know what that actually reminds me of? That actually reminds me of the fucking, uh... The opening to Halo 4, where it's like, Times have changed, Chief. Instead of giving an actual explanation as to why you're fighting the, uh... Covenant again. I don't remember. I played that game once, never again. Like I said, I still don't know why Halo even bothers making single player story at this point. The only reason Halo is still alive is for its multiplayer. Ain't nobody giving a shit about its story for a long time. I'd argue even when the story was still good, most people didn't care for the story. They played for the multiplayer. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, I think with that, we're going to cut the stream early today just because food's ready and I'm going to go eat that. And uh, I'm also probably going to. Oh, what's this on my nose? Um, it's a it's a breathe right strip. I use these for like recording and stuff because it opens up my uh, nose. So I don't I don't constantly sound like this while I'm talking. Yeah, it makes me feel. It lets me do a lot of long-winded talking and stuff like that without <laughs> sounding too nasally. Uh, but yeah, probably gonna probably gonna end the stream after the credits. Um, just cause food's ready, gonna go eat that. Makes you look kawaii as fuck. 
really? <laughs> so gooey! Oh. But yeah. Uh, don't know if I'll keep the webcam, honestly, just because, um... It's real finicky, as noted by the fact I just barely tapped it. Do you like my belly? Do you like... <laughs> uh. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I need, like, duct tape or something to fucking fix that into place. But it's like, I have so little pla- I have so few places to put that thing anywhere. Thank you all for the patience and support. You're welcome. Also, can I brighten it up a little bit? Oh, that's right. I forgot to put this scene. Did that all really happen? Yes, but some of the details have been lost in time. It all happened so very long ago. When can I go to the stars? One day, my sweet. What will be there? Anything you can imagine. Our galaxy has billions of stars. Each of those stars could have many worlds. Every world could be home to a different form of life. And every life is a special story of its own. Tell me another story about the shepherd. It's getting late, but okay. One more story. Staring is hurting. Oh, God. It could be. I don't like... <clears throat> I don't actually know. Ugh! All right. Congratulations on bringing an end to the Reaper threat. Commander Shepard has become a legend, and from here, you can continue to build the legend. It has been a long journey for Shepard and for the team here at Bioware, and like Shepard, we couldn't have done it alone. The Mass Effect trilogy began as the vision of a small team, but over the years, it has grown. The growth has been fueled and shaped by the feedback and support of our player community. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and we look forward to sharing future adventures with you in the Mass Effect universe. At least until EA had their way kind of a problem but yeah but yeah don't know gonna work on the face cam thing a bit don't don't know how i'm feeling about it don't know thought i'd try it out just because i had it so you get to stare at my delicious ass face doesn't it look beautiful tell me i'm pretty tell me spit all over my pop filter that's nice mm. but yeah uh i don't know uh yeah so that's gonna be it for now guys so until next time also there's a good chance to plug this i am gonna do this because it sounds like fun where is google chrome Google Chrome, Google Chrome, oh, Google, 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 Google Chrome. Be do 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 do. Holy shit, it's fucking white. Fucking blinding the shit out of my face right now. There we go. All right. So, I am going to where the hell is my. There it is. There it is. Come on. Come on, 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 yeah. Oh, that's right, I have to go to my, there we go. I went to the wrong place. All right. No, let's keep it like that. All right, so. For the future, for next time, for next time, since we're now done with Mass Effect, and I still haven't technically gotten, uh, I haven't gotten Path of Neo taken a look at yet, I'm probably going to get it cleaned uh, to get it in better shape, but... For next time on stream, <laughs> next time on the dramatic adventures, 
uh, I give you guys the chance to offer up an option of what we do next time. So, here is a list of every game that I currently own. And whether it has been beaten or not, and what it is playable for. Go through that list, consider what you think, uh, what you think would be interesting to see, and we will come back next Saturday. So, until then, I will catch you all later. Asta. Can't see my fingers. There we are. Okay. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. And if you want to see more of my future content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And to stay up to date with all of the releases that come out daily, be sure to click that bell. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, why not check out my Patreon page? Link is down in the description. And as always, until the next video, hasta.